What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching another video. A little different setting. I'm actually in my room at the moment and I'm going to make a quick little video, a little how-to on basically testing ethanol content in your E85 fuel. Now this is going to be specifically for pump uh, E85 fuel. So if you're somebody that purchases uh, the barrel fuel from like Sunoco or Ignite, VP Racing, if it's any of those companies that you're purchasing your fuel from, this really won't apply to you. So if you're getting your E85 at a pump at a gas station, it's really good to test your fuel before putting it in the car. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. I'm going to show you the tester that I bought. It's off Amazon. It was only like 10 or $12 and it's pretty simple. It only takes about five minutes. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So here's the ethanol tester that I purchased off of Amazon. Like I said, it was only like 10 to $12, something like that. I'll put the link in the description for it. Uh, it actually works pretty well. I've used it already. And I have some fuel here that a buddy gave me to test it. I don't know if it's good or not. He said it's been sitting in his basement for like a couple of months. So probably the content went down, but this is just for the purpose of the video. So basically what you're gonna do is this little bottle gives you all the instructions on how to test. So we're gonna fill this up with water up to the water line and then the rest of the E85 fuel. And basically the target that we're trying to get if you could see here, we're going to want to have at least 85% ethanol content. So that's what I would recommend to put into your car. If you're going to be doing a fully 85 tune, or if you're going to be doing like a mixed blend, like E30, E40, et cetera, you're going to want to have at least E85 when this is all said and done when tested. So let me go fill this up with water and then we're going to put the fuel in and we'll go from there. All right, guys. So I filled the tester up to the line. This is a little off balance where I have the bottle, but it is pretty much right at the line so next we're going to be putting the rest with e85 up to the line up here where it says e85 gas fill line right to the top and we'll go from there all right so now we have the water we have the fuel in so what we need to do now is take the bottle and you're going to want to mix it so properly capped you're going to want to mix it very good for i would say like 15 to 20 seconds so just mix this bottle like i said i like to mix it for a good amount of time just so that Everything separates properly. That should be good. So now what we're going to do, we're going to put this on a flat surface and we're going to let it sit for about five minutes and we'll come back and we'll show what the results say if the fuel is good or not. Once again, the C85 has been sitting in my friend's basement for a couple of months, he said. I guess he never used it. So just for the purpose of the video, we just used it to basically... Like I said, make this video. This fuel probably will be bad because it was never used, but that's all right. All right, guys. So about five minutes has passed. And as you can see, the separation with the ethanol and the water, this E85 only tested a little bit above E70. So I wouldn't recommend obviously putting this in my car, but I only have a little bottle size of it right here. So obviously that's not going to go into anything, but if your fuel doesn't test at least up here to 85%, I don't recommend you putting it in your car. This one obviously tested low. This one's from a pump and this is stuff that you can expect to happen, but that's pretty much it guys. This is how you can tell if the, E80, the E85 that you're getting from the pump at a gas station is good or not. And I always recommend before putting the fuel in your car that you test it because you don't want to put bad fuel in your car. Um, your car could you know knock really hard it can do some really weird things it could throw the tune off i always recommend you testing this before putting it in your car because you might have issues with your tuning with the car etc so again this only really tested about what this focus about e70 so the fuel is no good and that's pretty much it so to just go over the steps one more time before we finish the video you want to fill this up with water up to this water line, the rest up to the E85 gas fuel line. You're gonna to wanna to shake it for like, like I said, 20 seconds should be okay. Let it sit for about five minutes, then you'll see the separation from the ethanol and the water. All right guys, so that's gonna conclude the video. Something short and quick, something a little different, just a little how-to. If you guys are planning on putting E85 fuel in your car, if you're planning on getting tuned for E, like I am in my S3, this is a good little tool to have that's cheap and it'll save you a lot of headache and make sure that you're putting the proper fuel in your car and make sure that the ethanol content in your E85 fuel is correct. Now again, this really isn't going to be for the people that are buying the barreled fuel, like I said, from VP Racing, Ignite, Sunoco. There's a lot of companies that sell already tested barreled mixed fuel 
that is 100% good to go that you don't have to test. You're going to put it in your car. You know the car is going to perform. This is just for the people that don't go that route and are going to be going to the gas stations and putting pump fuel in their car. This is the best thing you could do. I'm going to leave the link of this little ethanol tester in the description. Like I said, I got it off of Amazon. It's very inexpensive and it can save you probably in tuning related repairs, um, issues with the car, things that you don't need to happen just by you know spending $10. You can avoid all these little problems. But anyways, guys, that's going to conclude the video. Hopefully you enjoy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.